This video is a quick overview of the RF models device line, why it exists, and how the different models fit into it. The RF concept started in late 2021. At the time, we really liked the Plan B mounting system for its size and simplicity, but we felt there was room to improve performance, especially when shooting unsuppressed. That's what led to the RF line. The RF stands for Revival Defense Forward Controls. This is a collaborative line between us here at Revival Defense and our friends at Forward Controls Design. In early 2022, we reached out to Forward Controls Design to work through the idea. The goal was straightforward, design Plan B compatible muzzle devices that actually functioned well on their own, not just as suppressor adapters. After roughly six months of testing and multiple prototype revisions, the 6315RF for 556 and the 6310RF for 308 were released in 2022. These are some of the prototypes we have here. The 6315 and 6310RF were largely based off the original Ford Controls design 6315 flash hider, which is essentially an A2 enhanced flash hider. With the RF line, we were able to shorten the device past a standard A2 flash hider while achieving comparable performance and also saving weight. These two devices establish the baseline for everything that followed. The Plan B mounting system is compact, mechanically simple, and does not require additional locking components as it relies on a taper to lock up to your adapter. Since the creation of the RF line, we've developed our own Revival Defense Plan B compatible hub mounts that are designed to work with our muzzle devices. Now we're going to talk about the design parameters. Every RF device follows the same basic design constraints. When we set out to design them, we set forth standards that we held to across the board with all of our devices. Performance is a priority. Each device is tested and adjusted and usually goes through multiple rounds of prototypes and revisions to ensure that it's cartridge optimized and giving you the best performance, both suppressed and unsuppressed. All RF devices are made from 17.4 stainless steel with a nitride coating. That's going to give you a little bit better seal into the adapter itself. Uh, it's going to increase the wear resistance and the surface hardness of the devices themselves. So not only are these compact, lightweight muzzle devices, they're also extremely strong. Another feature that you'll see on all of our devices is the standard three quarter inch wrench flats. So no proprietary tools are needed. These will work with any of your standard muzzle device wrenches so you can properly install and torque and rock set your muzzle device onto your rifle. We also maintain consistent external sizing. So what you'll see here on all of our short devices, the 6315 and 6310 RF, the 6315 RF A1 and 6310 RF A1, and the 1215 RF and 1210 RF are all the same exact size. We did that so we didn't have to uh, worry about fitment information for customers. So when we know our short devices fit on one, it'll work across the board. We wanted to keep everything consistent, make it easier for the end user. And then we spent time just optimizing performance out of the given lens that we set forward before designing them. The same thing's true for our longer device, the 3P15 and 3P10. We do have more longer devices coming and those will also follow the same uh, overall length constraint. Every RF device, including both the short and long devices, have a blind hole on the bottom. On longer devices, like our 3P15 and 3P10, it simplifies pin and weld work, making it easier for gunsmiths to pin and weld muzzle devices. More importantly, it allows manufacturers to offer pinned rifle configurations without resorting to SBRs. Even with free tax stamps now in 2026, most manufacturers still sell far more standard rifles than the short barrel rifles due to the extra paperwork and constraints that come with an SBR. This design choice supports pin configurations like a 15.1 with our short devices, and several manufacturers are already using our RF devices on their rifles for that reason. Now we're going to talk about each of the individual models. The first one we're going to talk about is the device that we released first, which is the 6315 and 6310 RF. The 15 is designed for AR-15s, it's threaded in half 28 and optimized for a 5.56-223 cartridge. The 10 variants are 5824 and they are optimized for your 308s, your 300 blackouts, your 6 arcs, 338 arcs. Um, 
the 6315 RF and 6310 RF are A2 style flash hiders. They're slightly shorter and lighter than a standard A2 flash hider like you see here with significantly shorter times, but due to internal geometry changes we made, the flash performance we achieved out of the 6315 and 6310 RF is similar to a standard A2, uh, all while being lighter. The uh, 6315 and 6310 also have a closed bottom, which helps reduce dust and debris when shooting prone. The next device we're going to talk about is the 6315RF-A1 and 6310RF-A1. These are based off of the A1 flash hider, so they have omnidirectional porting, meaning the ports are evenly spaced all around. That porting can help with gas distribution and modern suppressors that use an outer annulus while still functioning as a very effective standalone flash hider. The next devices we're going to talk about are the 1215RF and 1210RF nozzle brakes. These are a short single chamber nozzle brake and uh, the 1215RF was intentionally designed to be less concussive as the felt recoil generated by 556 is not significant. While the 1210RF is definitely more effective for recoil mitigation on 308 rifles where the benefit is more noticeable. The next device we're going to talk about are the 3P15 and 3P10 flash hiders. These are devices that we built from the ground up specifically for the RF line. We set a strict size target and spent close to a year refining the design through more than nine revisions, resulting in an extremely effective flash hider that keeps the overall length compact uh, and can be pinned on your 14.5 barrels. The RF line is built around performance with practical features. If you guys want more detailed information on these devices, visit us at RevivalDefense.com or ForwardControlsDesign.com. These are also available directly both through Revival Defense and Forward Controls, along with all of our dealers. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, email us anytime.